Uh, currently, right, I have the electricity on, and if the power were to go out, what would we do? Oh, hark, we have electric flashlights, right? But not so long ago, people didn't have electric flashlights. And so what would they have used when the lights went out? Well, they would have used oil lamps or candles. Oil lamps work by having a reservoir of oil or liquid in the bottom. That's something that will burn that's drawn up the wick to the top. When it gets up to the top, it's allowed to vaporize or turn into gas into the air. And then those gas particles are able to oxidize or combust with the air, which then releases fire. Waxes are solid substances that tend to have a pretty low melting point. So when you warm them up, they turn into a liquid, which then will start to vaporize and also combust with the oxygen in the air. Both olive oil and beeswax being considered organic options burn very, very clean because they don't, don't contain a lot of other chemicals that turn into soot in the air. And so we can see that there's not a lot of yuck, like, yucky stuff up above them. And when I turn off the lights, they give off a nice ambiance. Petroleum-based options came about a lot later in history with kerosene and then eventually paraffin, which we make into a liquid oil or a solid gas, all of which will form vapors at different temperatures and combust or burn with oxygen. Candles are made out of waxes, which are solids that have a very low melting point. So when heat is added to them, they will melt into a liquid and then that liquid will vaporize so that it can combust with oxygen more quickly. Beeswax was the original thing that we had to make candles out of, but today, because it takes 454 bees to make a pound of beeswax, it's $10. Paraffin, on the other hand, comes from like the leftovers of oil refining. And so because we're such an abundance of it, because we make so much oil, it's only $1.75 a pound. You can see beeswax burns way brighter and it also burns cleaner and lasts longer. But because paraffin is made at such high quantities um, and so cheap, we use a lot more paraffin candles in our society. Olive oil is less combustible and so we don't use it today. Um, for one of those reasons. It takes a lot more effort to get it to light. It has a flash point of 410 degrees, which is basically like where the vapors have to get to, to light on fire. Paraffin oil is uh, more combustible, 200 degrees, but that also means it's a little bit safer and more stable to have around the house. Kerosene, on the other hand, is extremely combustible. Uh, at about 100 degrees, it can um, set a light and so being from Arizona, it's one of those things that a lot of people don't have laying around because it gets really, really hot here and kerosene can really be a problem. Um, olive oil, if I can get this little guy to uh, light here, just takes a little bit more effort. Um, burns pretty clean and so we don't see a lot of soot coming off of it. And it's also edible. But the problem is because it takes plants to produce it and we have to squeeze literally the seeds of olives it's a lot more expensive because we can't make as much of it as a time. Paraffin, right, Oop, lights up nice and quick. Um, and kerosene, boop, also lights up extremely quickly, are both made from petroleum. And then you can see as they're lighted here, they're both releasing all of this soot. They do not smell very good, even though they say that they aren't supposed to smell, but because they come from barrels of oil, they're just produced in such huge quantities that they're a lot less expensive than other fuels to burn. So if I turn this out, you can see why people historically, uh, once kerosene and lamp oil became a thing, would have chosen them because they're just extremely bright and extremely efficient as far as creating light is concerned. Those chemical reactions release huge amounts of energy. But then the problem is because they release huge amounts of energy so easily, they also, uh, are pretty dangerous and a lot of fires throughout history started because of kerosene. The question of which is better ultimately is going to come down to what is it that you're looking for? Do you want wax that's a solid so that it's easier to transport or a liquid that tends to light a little bit faster? Um, do you want organic and less toxic or petroleum based which is more toxic but that's not the only thing because these ones have, you know, lower combustibility versus a high combustibility. Way more abundant because of the way that we make oil, therefore cheaper, versus something that's a little bit more scarce, but ultimately uh, more expensive. So 
you know, the last one, do you want something that's going to take a long time to burn off or something that's going to burn off a lot more quickly? So just because you get something that burns very quickly and burns brightly, it could be more expensive in the long run. And so these are all questions that people had to deal with when they were trying to decide which light to use because when the lights went out, there was no electricity to save the day.